This is another um, interview with a successful entrepreneur, and I'll let you do the intros, okay? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tamika Merrill Wilson. I am the Chief Executive Director of I'm Every Woman and Every Woman is Me, and also an inspiring author of the upcoming book, Memoirs of a Diva, Relationships, Lies, and Religion. Wow, yeah, I definitely have to get that when it comes out. September. Absolutely. September. Of this year? Of this year. Wow, that's pretty soon. Okay, that's mm -hmm. cool. Do I sound loud enough for you? Yep, you're good. Okay, cool. So one of the reasons why I asked you to um, ask, you, ask you to do an interview is because I've saw all the stuff that you've been doing, mostly on social media, and I've known you for a while. <laughs> Our families know each other. Um, and so I want to highlight anyone who I feel is a successful entrepreneur and hopes that your story and what it is that you're doing will inspire other entrepreneurs. And that's the whole reason behind the site that I'm launching, hopefully Tuesday, um, which is how to how to build generational wealth .com. Great, great. All right, so let's get started. So, can you tell us what you do and why exactly? Why you do it? Well, for starters, um, my nonprofit organization, I'm Every Woman and Every Woman is Me, was something that I've been thinking of since I was a teenager. I always was the type of child that wanted to help. And as I became an adult, I just knew that my passion was to help people. My heart is very given, and I had to find a way to use that without digging into my family pockets all the time. And so mm -hmm. I decided to go ahead and start a nonprofit where, for women, young women, and girls um, to provide them resources and services for women who want to come up. May not necessarily be in the position to come up, but they just need that push and that help to get to the next level. Um, so being the um, chief executive director of a nonprofit um, organization for women uh, is my passion. It's it, it has brought me a lot of, um, what can I say, joy because mm -hmm. I'm doing what it is, what I know that I'm supposed to do. Okay. Did and that, as far as, I'm sorry, go ahead. Did that answer the question? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Now, as far as being an, uh, an author, a writer, um, what types of writings do you do? Okay. Well, um, as far as my book is concerned, um, it's a memoir of my life. Mm -hmm. um, being married and a mom at a young age. I was married at 19 and I was a mom at 18. Um, I've been through some things and um, I want to tell my story to people who ha are going through or who have gone through the same things that I've gone through. Doing this book, um, it's, it's just a host of things that have happened in my life, whether good or bad. And um, also being labeled as a PK's daughter, um, we have certain standards that we have to live up to. So I want to reach out to that audience as well, of the, the PK kids, um, and just give them my experiences, and hopefully they can learn from some things I went through and save themselves a lot of trouble. And for those people who don't know what a PK kid is, can Preacher's you Preacher's kid. <laughs> yes, preacher's kid. Absolutely. You guys definitely have a little extra. We don't have to be concerned with that y'all got to deal with. Yes. Yeah. Um, and speaking of PK, your dad is a great guy. I love him. Thank you. <laughs> he is, he's, he's very, and I, I thank God for him and my mom. I really do. Mm -hmm. They they have been a blessing to my life. And once I got on track and started to listen, I realized how much more life could be better for me just by listening. And that's, that's a good trait of being an entrepreneur as well as listening, having listening skills. You are so right. So, okay. In your opinion, do you believe entrepreneurs are born or made? I believe. Okay, it's that. That's it's a, that's a trick question because mm -hmm. um, you can be born to do something, but then in life you could just find a passion and and want to do something so bad that you are a made entrepreneur. So, are we there? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I believe for I, I can say both. Is, it, is yeah. that fair for me to say both? Hey, this is your opinion. This is Tamika's world right now. <laughs> if you want to, if you believe both, that's great. There's I some people. Both. There's some people who say that you're born. There's a certain thing that entrepreneurs have, successful entrepreneurs have, um, that other people don't. And I think the thing that separates a successful entrepreneur from just a regular entrepreneur, someone saying, "Hey, I just want to go out and do my own thing." 
are successful entrepreneurs are driven people. These are the type of people who are up when everybody else is sleeping because they want to be the absolute best. They're driven by success. Now, I know success is relative to whoever the person is. Some people, it's money, like I said before, or it's um, helping a lot of people. But I personally think successful entrepreneurs are definitely different than a regular entrepreneur because they do what needs to be done to achieve their goals. Exactly. Um, and when you say about the sleep, I'm the type of person I'm up at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning because I get my best thoughts during that time. Me too. Um, I think of great ideas, so I'm on the computer, I'm writing things down, and that's another key. When you think of things, you got to write it down immediately because you, you'll forget it. Yes. So um, writing things down, so yeah, being up late at night, getting minimum sleep. You, you really oh, don't get yeah. that much sleep at all. No. When you no. are after something that you really, really want, you want it more than you want to breathe, you yes. want it more than you want sleep, you want it more than you want to eat. That's the thing that you go after, and that's what makes you successful. Wow, you are preaching to the choir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we kind of touched it on what does being a successful entrepreneur mean to you. I've given you my definition, and I think you're giving me part of yours, but can you elaborate on what makes an um, entrepreneur successful? Well, like I said, just wanting it more than you want anything else. Um, being successful, you're going to lose people along the way because they can't tolerate your mm -hmm. your time being limited to them. Um, you'll lose friends because they feel like you've changed. Family members are getting mad at you. So it's a challenge, and it's something that you really, really want. You're going to have to sacrifice a lot of things, and that's friends, family, and um, relationships. Okay. That That's being successful. But in the end, if they were meant to be in your life or a part of your life in your circle, they will be. Um, so that, to me, is being a successful entrepreneur, le learning and knowing that you're going to lose people along the way. Wanting this thing so bad that you will do anything to get it. Not not anything bad, but right. you, you just want to go after it that hard. you got to be a go-getter. Oh, that's the truth. That is for sure that's the truth. And the final question is, um, what advice would you give to people who want to walk the path of a successful entrepreneur? People who say they want to do it, they feel like they're led to do it. What advice would you give to them? This is probably going to be weird when I say this, but my dad has taught me the value of integrity. Mm. And I truly believe having integrity crossing people's path and they can see the genuineness in you that you are someone who wants to succeed. People will have no problem with helping you out and wanting to um, give to you to help you reach your dreams and the levels that you want to be on. I posted a quote today that says that if people don't respect your grind, you know, it wasn't meant for them. This was a vision that your higher being gave you. So you have to continue on doing what you need to do and not be a person who cares about what others think. And that's that's another thing. You can't care about what others think about what you're doing because it wasn't meant for them to do. It was meant for you to do. You're right. I actually saw that post. And is there anything else that you want to say in general, whether it's about something you're doing, anything that's coming up? Of course, I want to cover all the ways that we can reach you through social media or phone number. So this is your time to advertise whatever you want to do. Well, I just want to say to people out there, if you want it, go get it. Nothing should be able to stop you. Um, this is your life. It's your dream. You are set, setting yourself up for success, success and wealth. And mm -hmm. you got to be able to just keep it moving. Don't stop no matter what. Obstacles are going to come, but you got to continue on. And as for reaching me, you can reach me um, on Instagram at, at the real Mika or on Facebook, authorist Tamika Merrill Wilson. And be looking out for Memoirs of a Diva, Relationships, Lies, and Religion this upcoming September. It's Absolutely. something definitely want to read. Absolutely. Well, thank you. I don't want to take up a whole lot of your time, but I really appreciate you accepting the offer to do an invitation and for it to be shown on the site. I really think it'll help a lot of people. <laughs> I have great, great, great expectations for this site, and uh, hopefully you'll like it. And I'm, I'm thankful that you invited me to be a part of it, and 
successful entrepreneurs help out other entrepreneurs. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Tamika. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. Okay. Peace right. and love. All right. Bye. Bye-bye.